Hello and welcome to Woo Book Wednesday. Today's book review is brought to you by a video that I recorded last year-ish, um, the end of 2019, beginning of 2020. It was recorded um, for another platform and was recorded live actually. So I'm going to share that with you here this week. So I hope you enjoy that. I figured it was easier to just reuse a video than to remake one for the same book. So enjoy and we will see you next time. Good morning. I wanted to come this morning and do a live broadcast about what I'm reading currently. And this might become a regular feature. It might not. I don't know yet, but I thought I would share with what with you guys what I'm reading this week. I'm actually reading a lot of things. I usually have many books that I'm reading at one time, but I wanted to talk about one book that I'm reading right now, and it is called The Ethics of Caring, Honoring the Web of Life in Our Professional Healing Relationships by Kylie Taylor. I am reading this book for a class I'm taking, and some of you watching this video either live or through the replay are also reading this book because you're in the same class that I'm in. This is for a program, Transformational Energy Healing. And the book is about how to conduct yourself in a professional and ethical manner if you work with people in a non-ordinary state of being. And that could be anything from counselors to pastors, spiritual leaders, massage therapists, anybody who works with somebody who may enter a non-ordinary state of consciousness during the work that you're doing with them, this book, sorry, would be a great read for you. It goes through each of the seven chakras and talks about how the things associated with those energy centers may cause us to act in an unethical manner, in an unethical manner, and how we can be on the lookout for that in ways that we can combat the tendency to, to do that. For instance, it talks about money, power, sex, love, insight, oneness, and how it relates to each energy center we have, and the things that we could do unethically while we're working with somebody. In relation to that it is not something that you can just sit down and read in a day I mean I guess you could but for me it's not that kind of a book and for those that I've talked to who are also reading it with me they don't think so either but it is an important book and I'm getting a lot out of it you can tell as I flip through here that well, maybe you can tell, maybe you can't. But towards the beginning, you can't see it. Maybe I can find a page. I was highlighting different things that spoke to me as I was reading. But as I'm further along and now I'm ready to start chapter 12, which is vulnerabilities to unethical behavior, I have not been highlighting a lot, but I have been reading it, taking notes, learning a lot about what it means to be in an altered state of conscious and non ordinary state of consciousness and how as a caregiver or somebody who works with people in a non ordinary state of consciousness, how to be ethical and approach those interactions in an ethical way. So if you work with somebody like that, if you're a spiritual leader, if you're a, coach, if you're a massage therapist, whatever, and you're working with somebody who may go from their ordinary reality into an altered state of consciousness, and this book even talks about what that is. If you don't know, I would suggest reading this book, The Ethics of Caring, 
honoring the web of life in our professional healing relationships. So that's just a bit on what I'm reading right now. And I will do this again. Maybe next week. Maybe not. We'll see. Thank you.